Uh, is he comfortable uh, saying that this is the biggest fight of your life? Uh, sure, yeah. For me, every fight is the biggest, but uh, this one's a little more special. You know, uh, big name. We wanted to fight a guy like him for a long time, and uh, it's my shock. I can't wait. You feel like this is the opportunity to finally show the world, you know, that, that what you are capable of as a fighter? Yeah, especially for the casual fans. You know, uh, I think he's got a big following. You know, he's a lot more known for sure. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the chance, you know, put a stamp on it, you know, that I belong in the top of this division, compete against anybody, beat anybody. I hear a lot of people saying if Rory wins because he's beaten Tyron Woodley before, if he beats you, he can say he's the best welterweight in the world. If you win, do you feel like you have the right to call yourself the best welterweight in the world? Uh, for sure. You know, of course, in this sport, man, it's always going to be somebody else. But uh, beating him is no brainer. You know, uh, he's got a lot of solid wins, you know, over the number one right now, and uh, for sure, you know, that's uh, something that's going to happen. What is it about his skill? What is it about his skill that is most imposing to you? That has you most concerned? <clears throat> uh, I wouldn't say concerned, but uh, I'm aware of uh, how good he is and mixing things up. You know, he's good standing. He's good in the ground. He goes. He's, you know, he's a good wrestler as well. So he just mixes pretty everything pretty good, and that's the, the thing that he shines. Uh, you know, him and his camp are you know, good at putting together game plans, and I think they're good at that. But uh, nothing that I haven't seen before, you know, fought like guys that's complete like that before, and uh, just not the fight. What do you intend to do to really impose your will on this fight? Just hit him hard from the first second, hit him as hard as I can. He's gonna change all, all the plans that he had. Hey Douglas, uh, you're a self-proclaimed nice guy. <laughs> when you heard Rory say that you wanted to take your belt and your health, what went through your head? <laughs> well, anybody, everybody can say whatever they want. I don't really care what people say. Uh, what matters for me is when the, the cage shuts. You know what I mean? That's, you know, what matters. People can say whatever they want. You know, I don't know if they mean it. I don't know if they don't, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Not one bit, you know. I'm here to do a job. I'm prepared. I train hard for it. And uh, we'll find out Saturday night. Right well, what's your reaction to being moved from the main event to the co-main event? Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter, man. I mean, a lot of people didn't like that idea. I believe that our fight should be the main event, but at the end of the day, we're going to fight. You know, it's, it's 30 minutes before, 30 minutes after. It doesn't really matter for me. I'm just focusing on him, man. I'm focusing on defending this belt, you know, and bringing that win back home. So uh, for me, it doesn't really make a difference. He told us that he's predicting a finish, whether it's a submission or knockout. Do you see that happening as well? I see that happening, but... With me, with the hand raise, <laughs> you know, I plan on finishing him. You know, I don't want to fight, you know, for five rounds. I want to finish it before that. Uh, so just expect a good fight. You know, he's coming to try to finish. I'm coming to try to finish. I'm going to leave everything there, and uh, I'm going to leave with the belt. What does the belt mean to you? Um, I mean, belt is just a piece of jewelry, but uh, just the meaning of being a champion means a lot. You know, something that I've been working, you know, my whole career. I'm uh, happy to hold the belt, you know, among all these great welterweights, you know, that's in the division, you know, I'm sitting on top. I love it, you know, uh, it's a big responsibility for me. I take this very serious. I train hard and, uh, man, I'm ready. I'm ready to fight right now. You know, I'm just fired up from this little training here. I'm ready, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to step in there with him, you know, let it all go. <laughs> Rory has been saying that he's going to make a big announcement later this week. However, if you're the one who wins on Saturday, do you have any plans to move up for anything such as the middleweight title or any other super fights? Middleweight, fight, middleweight title sounds good, but uh, right now I'm focusing on him. Um, I'm not going to say anything you know, that I plan on doing in the future, because the future for me right now is just defending this belt. So my only focus is on, is on him. You know, I'm, uh, like I said, I train hard for this, man. I took this serious. Uh, and uh, the future, we'll see what happens after Saturday night, after I beat him. <laughs> what, what is a more satisfying victory for you, a submission or, or a KO? Definitely a finish. It doesn't matter if it's a submission or KO, but a uh, fan likes the KO. You know, it's just a little more exciting. And uh, that's the plan. You know, go over there, finish him. Even if it's on the ground, you know, TKO from ground and bound, I'll take that too. As long as I get a stoppage, I'm happy. That means that my training paid off. Thank you, guys. All right.